Hello everybody, James here. Welcome back to Glitch Gear Gaming and we're back with Real RGFC. Um, and uh, yeah, I've just been reading about Chris Reed's uh, training development. Um, he um, His exposure to first team football has definitely been a factor in his development. Um, and it's uh, they reckon he'd be a leading player for most Vanarama national sites. That's a league above us, so he's obviously doing very well. Um, and they reckon his potential could lead into becoming a Premier Division central defender. So he's on the right track. Currently valued at two and a half k. Um, I'm sure that will go up by the end of the season um, because you know if we win the league, which is the plan, all our players will go up in value because they are they're playing for the team that won the league. So yeah, we shall see. So today we are playing against Western Supermare, but before we, before we get to that, I just want to go through the previous matches. So um, off camera, I did play against Hampton and Richmond and Woking. Uh, so let's go and have a look at Hampton and Richmond. These both uh, Van Rama National League South games. Um, so this game was a bit annoying. Um, the reason being is because we were 2-0 up and in the last 10 minutes of the game we basically just threw it away. Stupid mistakes. Ben Jackson, Jackson got the player of the match. He did score a goal and got an assist despite being a defender. Um, and he, he put in some pretty good tackles and things, but he did cost us a goal. Um, so did Baker, who had an absolute shocker. Was that this game? No, that might have been the previous game. Anyway, let's have a look at the goals. So, um, I do want to check actually um, what the capacity, the attendance was 398. See, for this one against Oldershot. Is 1,616, 401 away. Oh, okay, so that, right, that's the total. So, yeah, fair enough. All right, I thought maybe it would be, it would be going up because of the, um, because of our position, but I guess possibly next season when we get more reputation, it will go up a bit more. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at these goals. So, the first one was scored by Ben Jackson in the seventh minute, um, and it was a pretty good goal, I'm not going to lie. It was a beautiful free kick from outside the box. Look at that. I think he's the next Bruno Locatelli. But yeah, beautiful goal. Um, and then we've got Zafran Zathar's goal, which was a great team goal. I think it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, perhaps not. But Tegmar won it back in midfield. Gives it, gives it to Jackson. Jackson to Weston. Weston gives it back to Jackson. And he... Gives it to Tegmeyer. They're just sort of pittering it about, trying to get a good position to put in a ball. Weston gives it to Farrell. Farrell puts it on the wing to Ashfield, who has put onto the. Uh, oh no, he started, didn't he? He's whipped one in. He's come back out to Farrell. He's given it to Weston. We did a lot of work trying to get it in the box there. And then finally, Jackson whips it in and Zafar heads it into the corner. Lovely worked goal there. Nice patience to work up to the point where he found an opportunity. So yeah, not bad. Um, and uh, then they scored t uh, two, equal uh, two equalising goals. Well, one goal to pull it back to 2-1, then an equalising goal. And this was just a shocker. Absolutely shocking, it really was. It was okay defence there by uh, Graham, Graham Silk, but he couldn't, couldn't keep hold of the ball, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, they, would, they held onto the ball for quite a bit. passing it between them and then this ball comes up and Jackson did well to take it down but he couldn't control it and then Dixon just takes the ball and then Jackson couldn't keep up with him and there you go it was that mistake that cost the goal so although he got player of the match and had a good game um, he did get yellow card and fucked up a bit <laughs> causing us to lose a goal which is a bit annoying um, and then they managed to get the equaliser I don't know yeah, just one of those things, one of those games, you know, we, we got cocky and just gave the game away. We were 2-0 up and lost a 2-0 lead. It was just shocking, really. I mean, that, who, who's marking him? You know, just let him get away. It was a good finish, in fairness, but, yeah, frustrating. So, yeah, in all in all, that game was a bit annoying. Um, but, yeah, I mean, ben, ben did have a good game. He got a key pass, assist, and a goal. So, can't really complain. Um, the only other player who had an equally good game, well, not quite, but... 
a decent game overall was um, Zathar, but I think that's just because he got the goal, in all honesty. But yeah, so a bit annoyed with that, but at least we didn't lose. And that point we dropped down to third in the table. Um, and then we had this nice win against Woking, uh, which is an all-round brilliant performance. Um, and so that previous match, Ben Jackson got his first goal for the for the t for the side. Uh, and in this match, um, Farrell got his first goal of the season. Um, he had two key passes and one goal, and got player of the match with his 8.4 rating. Um, but we did have. Weston is the far on 8.3s and Chris Reed on 8.2, so it wasn't far off. A lot of competition, but Farrell had a brilliant game in defence and scored a goal. Um, so Thar got three key uh, passes, one assist, um, one chance created. Uh, Locatelli got two key passes and a goal. Ashfield got one key pass, and Chris Reed got one key pass and had a brilliant game in defence. So let's have a look at the first goal, which was Locatelli. Now, believe it or not, this wasn't a free kick, <laughs> which is unusual for Locatelli these days, but it shows that he's still um, dangerous in front of goal, in the box and outside the box. So again, it was good patience to build up the play, just passing it about, trying to get an opening, and Chris Reed, look at that ball, <sighs> straight over the top to Zafar, lovely touch from Zafar, puts it in the box, simple bang in from Locatelli, beautiful team play, great setup. That's what we want to see. More of that, please. And then uh, Weston's goal. Lovely cross in by Silk. Headed out by Cook, and Weston controls it, and then just places it where the keeper's not. <laughs> it was a lovely goal. Well spotted from Weston there. Lovely finish. And then we have the Nick Farrell goal. So this was an interesting one, because we were actually on the defence. Lovely tackle there by Locatelli, who's not even a defender completely opposite, runs it all the way up the pitch, passes out, he, he spots the Thar, I don't know how, Thar gives it to Rayside, Rayside crosses it in, Farrell heads it, it's saved, it bounces back and he puts it in the back of the net, I mean, every player on, his, on the pitch, and in, uh, every player on the team had a brilliant touch in the run up to that goal, it was, it was a fantastic team goal, most of them were, and that's what we want to see, because we want to see every single player on the pitch playing well, so yeah, all in all, brilliant result fantastic play and um, yeah it's put us back on top um, via goal difference so yeah that's good we're still on we're joint 20, 28 points with Eastbourne Borough um, so yeah winning this would solidify our lead so that's the plan so let's go to team selection and I'm just gonna have a look everyone's actually pretty in pretty good nick here but I'm gonna put Dean back on for Ben Jackson um, Ben Jackson's had a couple of games now and look at this. So, you know when you've got your perfect team because these lines come up and they show that the players actually gel well together on the team because they're used to playing together. So the only issue is Locatelli and Zathar, but they're both having good games, so I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so I think we'll stick with this team and we shall go ahead and try and beat Western Supermare. I think we've got enough. Bring Locatelli. 14 goals in 16 games. He's he's doing well. Doing very well. Right. We should be winning this comfortably. Play your own game and you'll win. Seem motivated. Good. Locatelli, you're the man. Show us what you got. I know this highlight's just going to be straight over, so I'm not even going to bother. Come on. Oh, look at this. Locatelli, come on. Free kick. Oh, come on, man. You're the man. Do it. Right. Okay, good. It's a good play. Silky G, what's he going to do with it? Giving it to Farrell. Farrell, you're on form. Let's see it. Oh, nice little ball over the top there to, to, to race by, but it's too... Oh, it hasn't gone too far. First time cross from Tom. Oh, let's come back out to Farrell. And Silk's had a go. Ooh, not far off. Good first time effort. Logatelli's had another shot off target. Silk off target. Zafar off target. Come on, guys. Want a few on target, please. Oh, they've got a free kick. Oh, he's missed. 
He's no Locatelli. Michael Dean's committed a foul. We've had a few shots on target. It's a far offside. Come on, guys. You've got this. I know you've got this. Get creative. Come on. Uh, don't don't give me another ball draw, I beg you. Chris Reed, another foul. Tom Ray side foul. Come on, guys, stop fouling. Create some chances. Oof, lofted it up the pitch there. Reed with a bit of a wayward header there. Stop them making anything of it though. Come on, don't let them play around you. Get stuck in. Hammer them. Ryan Reed, that's a better header. Right. What can Silk do with it? Let's give it to Weston. Come on, let's have some through balls here, Weston. Pogatelli's on it. He's giving it back to Silk and he's getting closer. He can probably hit from that range. Oh, he's tried the pass though and it's been intercepted. Let's come back to Reed though. Is he going to find anybody? No, well, he's giving it to Farrell. Farrell's giving it to Silk. Back to Farrell. Come on, Farrell. Make something of it. So far. Oh, he's put it out to Tom. Is he going to cross it in? Yes, he has to lofted one in. And Weston's there. He's controlled it and volleyed it. What a goal! Brilliant stuff. Keeper had no chance. But that angle, that was a difficult angle, but he made it. Excellent play by the team there. Great vision from Zathar to pick out Tom. Lovely lofted cross from Tom as well to the back of the post there where uh, Weston was waiting. Oof, lovely. Good finish. Fourth goal of the season for Weston. All right, let's, let's get some more. Let's solidify our lead. <laughs> Weston Super Mayor is sponsored by McDonald's. Fantastic. Oh, good touch there from Swallow. Got away from... Who is that? That's oh, Weston, I think, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. And it was a terrible shot. They're getting desperate. It's good. That's what we like to see. They're panicking. Oh, got a dangerous cross here. Oh, just over. That was lucky. Right, it's going to be half time in a second. Not a bad first half, but Weston's having a great game. Who got the assist, Tom? Yeah, it wasn't it? I think we need more from the team, though. Locatelli's having a crap game. I don't know what's going on there. Haven't conceded any free kicks in promising areas. Uh, we struggled to make inroads in attacking areas from the left, though. We always do. I don't know what, what the trouble is. Weston doesn't seem to be able to command his side of the pitch, which is a bit worrying. It happens quite often. Um, give them a bit of a morale boost. Um, you've played well so far, but still room for improvement. Good. Anyone motivated was Locatelli because he's the only one having a shit game. You, passionate. How have you performed so far today? Good, there you go. Because you are having a good game. Let's see this out. Let's finish it. Do not concede a goal, please. Locatelli got his fifth yellow card of the season. Chris Reed, first yellow card of the season. Close him down. Sathar, Farrell. He's going to have a go. He's, he's got it. His second goal of the season. That's two in two games. Brilliant finish from Farrell. Where's he come from? He's a defender. <laughs> he's just decided he wants to start scoring goals. Not that I have a problem with that, of course. Nice assist from Zathar there. Picked him out. Gave him plenty of time to put himself in a good position. Lovely. Come on, take the ball off him. Have him. Oh, lovely tackle by Farrell. But he's the man of the hour at the moment. And he's in the box. What's he going to do? He's going to go. Oh, saved by the keeper. But we've got a corner out of it. Lovely play by Farrell there. What the hell was he doing so far up? Silky G with the corner. He's whipped it in. Locatelli looks like he's on the end of it. Oh, Teddy clear by Jacob Crane, though. Locatelli's run for it and won the ball, though. Oh, 
You injured yourself. What happened there? So <laughs> we got a throw, but that's the end of the highlight. Farrell is on fire. Look at this, 8.2. Oof. They're in competition now for man of the match. Who's going to get it? Uh, yeah, he's off tackles, Chris. We don't want you getting sent off. Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, here we go. Tom's got his fourth yellow card of the season, and he's taking a throw into the thar. He's giving it back to him. He's going to cross it in. He has. He's whiffed a lofty one in. Weston's on the end of it. And he's finished it. That's his second goal of the game. No, it isn't. I lied. <laughs> or is it? Fifth goal of the season. Assist by Tom Racer. Beautiful. Look at this. Oof. Get straight back to a lovely cross. And Weston was there in a brilliant position. All he had to do is control it and whack. I don't know what the keeper was doing there. Bit of a crappy attempt to save it. But there you go. Yeah, it was his second goal of the game. He's got 9.1, so sorry, Farrell. It looks like Weston's going to have this one. All right, I'm going to make some subs in a minute, but we'll see how this goes. Tom Rayside with the two assists, though. Lovely play by him. Right, let's make some subs. Let's do it properly. Um, tactics. Right. Who's tired? We've got a lot of tired players out there, actually. Um, Weston is tired, but I'm going to keep him on. He's having a good game. Same with Farrell. Uh, but I think I might take Silk off because he's not been the best player on the team. Um, Tegmaier's coming on for Silk then. Um, and he's going to play a slightly different role because he's not good at Carileo. He's going to defend. Let's try and hold on to this lead. Um, Bruno Locatelli having a crap game and he's complacent. So oh, you're coming off, mate. Sorry. Hardy's coming on to be a supporting target man. Give team talk. Uh, I'm just going to make those two subs for now. Um, passionate. Show him what we've got today. I'll see a good display. Okay, whatever. They didn't care. Let's do this. Let's see the game out. Ray side takes the throw in, gives it straight to Swallow. What an idiot! What am I doing? Johnson has cleared it. Well done, Johnson. And Tegmar's picked up, giving it back to Tom. Tom's lofted one over. He spotted Hardy. It's a good ball. What's Hardy going to do with it? He's giving it to Weston. Weston's bringing up the pitch now. He's going to get tackled though. He's very close to a defender there. Oh, he's come off the defender. Yeah, he's lost the ball. He just left it. What are you doing? Don't get complacent now. We don't have time for this. We want another clean sheet. Oh, that's a good ball to Jackson. He's, who's marking this bloke? That was that was a let off. That was. There's five blokes in defence and they let him get away from him. He's got some pace, that Jackson. Right, they're taking a the corner. Come on, let's get rid of it. Well done, Reed. Well in. Who's this coming out here then? Is that me? I don't know. It might be Farrell actually. Probably is. He's having a good game. He's all over the pitch. Can't have nothing. Can't get enough of him. Tegmaier's got rid of it. It's their throw, and that was the end of the highlight. Fair enough. All right, much as sub Western. He's having a good game, but he's exhausted. Oh, hang on. Right, let's just do this. <laughs> Farrell is taking a free kick, so this could be interesting. Um, we are going to take... Uh, oh, we've got no one to put on for him, have we? We can't take Weston off. That's okay. We'll continue. Farrell with the free kick. <gasps> oh, he's done it! What a goal! Third goal of the season. Three goals in two games. <laughs> and that was a finish and a half. He is on fire. Look at this. I mean, he hits it straight to the keeper, but with such power, the keeper had no chance. I don't rate that keeper at all, though, in all honesty. He's had a shocker. But Farrell has had an excellent game. And him and Weston are in serious competition for man of the match now. They both got two goals each. Come on, don't let this go in. Someone tackle Nurse. Oof, he's had a long-range attempt. They're getting desperate. We're nowhere near the goal, really, in reality. Um, they're both on a 9.4 <laughs> ok I'm going to make another sub but I'm not going to sub either of those because they're in competition we're going to take Tom off he's got a yellow card he's had a good game but give him a rest I think that might be the end of the game and they're both on a 9.4 so I don't know who they're going to give it to I really don't it's over And uh, Nick Farrell, looks like Nick Farrell got it. Yep, 
sorry, Weston, you had an excellent game, but it wasn't enough. To, you just, it's just unfortunate that you both had like the best game of the season so far. Um, <laughs> oh, that's unlucky for Weston. I do feel sorry for him. Nick Farrell got the player of the match, but I mean, he's a defender and he scored two goals, so I guess that's why, perhaps. Locatelli, I don't know what's happened to Locatelli. He seems to have faded in this match. He was outclassed by a defender and a midfielder. Never mind. Um, brilliant result in the end. Um, got quite a few yellow cards again. Starting to worry me a bit, but you know, never mind. Um, other good performances. I mean, the whole team performed excellently. Um, but we had uh, Tom on an 8.3 with two assists. Um, Michael Dean uh, on an 8.1. He's obviously been very solid back in defence today. And a lovely clean sheet for, for Baker and the whole team, really. So, yeah, brilliant result. Yeah, you, you were excellent. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. Lovely. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we come back from a defeat in the FA Cup. Okay. Excellent. We're back at the top. We're still joint top though. Eastbourne Borough won as well. They got a 3-1 victory. Western Supermare, where are they now? Oh, they're actually um, they were up there with us. So that was a good win for us. Um, okay. Excellent. Gogler for Reading RGFC, right? Reading RG, why do I keep saying that? Real RGFC. Yeah, excellent. We've been playing above all expectations we have. Look at all these goals. Yay. Classy Farrell on form. Shots on target, 100%. Passes completed. So, let's see. Can I... Number of quality chances created last match. Keep it up. It's superb in front of goal. You were. Passionate. Yep. Boom. Appreciate that. Good man. Good man. Right, we'll call it there then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe if you uh, are enjoying the series um, and you want notifications every time I bring out a new episode. Make sure you ring that bell. Um, and yeah, until next time, take it easy.